Let's use CSS animations and behaviors in Blend for Visual Studio 2013. We'll start by creating a new Windows Store blank app. And let's try animating an image. I'm just going to go to the Projects panel and from the Images subfolder we'll take the default logo and just drag that to the airport. In the CSS Properties panel, let's select Inline Style and here we see the animation category. I'm going to add a new animation and let's call this Fly Away. For duration, we'll enter one second. For iteration count, we'll enter infinite. And for place date, we'll use the default, which is running. Now let's click Edit Animation. And we can see the timeline appears at the bottom below the artboard here. Let's forward this to one second, which is the duration of our animation. And we're going to add in a couple of transforms. If we scroll down to the transform category, uh, note right now too that at the top it says animation recording is on. Anything we do now to the CSS properties of this element will become a part of this animation. Let's add in a skew transform. And for the skew transform, we'll enter in 90 degrees for the X and 45 degrees for the Y. Let's add in a second transform. Here we'll do a translate transform. And let's set the X for this transform to 500 pixels and the Y to 100. We can preview the animation now by clicking the play button in the animation panel. And you can see that we get a little flyaway animation and it's kind of a 2.5D effect using these transforms. We can also run the app by hitting F5 and we can preview the animation in the running app. Now that we have our animation, let's add in some interactivity using behaviors. We'll stop the animation recording by clicking the record button at the top here. And let's go to the assets panel and select the behaviors category. And we're going to use the set style action on the image. First, let's modify our animation just a bit. If we go to the flyaway animation, we're going to set the iteration count to just one iteration and let's have the play state be paused to begin with and then we'll use the behavior to set it to running. Now that that's done, let's take the set style action from the behaviors and just drag it onto the image. We can see that in the behaviors category we have a couple of new elements here. We have a trigger and a action the default for the trigger is a click event, so when the user clicks this element, it'll trigger the behavior. But note that you can select other events like mouse move and so on. Let's go to the set style action, and in this case, we want to select the animation play state property, and we want to set that to running when this behavior is triggered. Let's go ahead and run the app by clicking F5. And now if we come in, the animation is paused. And if we click the element, we see the animation execute.